how can you improve your data structures, algorithms, and problem solving skills? I primarily use three websites to practice, HackerRank, LeetCode, and Caddis. They are largely similar, especially the first two, but not identical. I find that each site has a slightly different focus, each of which is immensely helpful in its own way. I would loosely categorize the skills required for problem solving into three categories, which are knowledge of data structures, knowledge of algorithms, and knowledge of the application of data structures and algorithms. The first two could be considered the primitives or building blocks that go into the third, which is about knowing what to apply for a particular scenario. Knowledge of data structures. In this respect, I found HackerRank to be a valuable resource. It has a section dedicated to data structures, which you can filter by type such as arrays, linked lists, balanced trees, heaps, and so forth. The questions are not so much about problem solving as they are about working with data structures. For instance, for arrays, we have array rotation and array manipulation. For linked lists, we have reversing the linked list or cycle detection. And for trees, we have node swapping and binary search tree validation. You get the idea. Some of the questions might not ever be directly applicable into problem solving, but they are great for conceptual understanding, which is extremely important in any case. HackerRank does not have freely accessible model solutions, although the discussion section is usually full of hints, clues, and even working code snippets. I have found those to be adequate so far, although you might have to step through the code a line at a time in an IDE to really understand something. Knowledge of algorithms. HackerRank also has an algorithm section, although I prefer LeetCode for this. I found LeetCode's variety of problems to be a lot wider, and I really like that a lot of the problems have solutions with explanations and even time complexities. A great starting point would be LeetCode's top 100 liked questions. Some questions which I thought were great were accounts merge, longest continuous increasing subsequence, and searching in a rotated sorted array. Unlike data structures questions, the focus here isn't so much about working with or manipulating data structures, but rather how to do something. For instance, the accounts merge problem is primarily on the application of standard UFDS algorithms. The searching in a rotated sorted array problem presents a twist on binary search, and sometimes you learn an entirely new problem solving technique. For example, the sliding window solution for the longest continuous increasing subsequence problem. Knowledge of the application of data structures and algorithms. Finally, I use Caddis to improve my general problem solving skills. The Caddis Problem Archive has a bunch of programming problems from various sources such as competitive coding competitions around the world. Caddis can be incredibly frustrating because there are no official solutions or a discussion forum unlike HackerRank and LeetCode. Also, test cases are private. I have a handful of pending Caddis problems which I can't solve, not because I don't know the solution, but because I can't figure out the bug. It's my least favorite site among the three for practicing and learning, and I didn't spend a lot of time on it. Other resources. Geeks for Geeks is another valuable resource for learning about data structures and algorithms. I like how it provides code snippets in various language, usually C++, Java, and Python, which you can copy paste in your IDE to step through line by line. Finally, there is trusty old Google, which would lead you to Geeks for Geeks most of the time and YouTube for visual explanations. At the end of the day, there are no shortcuts. You just have to dive into it headfirst, start writing code, debugging code, and reading other people's correct code to figure out where, how, and why you went wrong. It's tough, but you get better with each attempt, and it gets easier as you get better. Thank you, and please subscribe for more videos like this one.